Today on our 2017 Ford Explorer, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Blue Ox Tow Bar Wiring Kit for Diodes, part number BX8848. With that wiring kit, we're going to be using the Roadmaster 6-wire trailer connector, part number RM-910030-7. This is what our wiring kit looks like when it's installed. What this wiring kit is going to do, the diodes are to keep any back feed from your trailer into your factory wiring into your vehicle. It's going to allow you to receive lighting functions from your RV into your towed vehicle. This wiring kit is going to give you all the proper functions you need, your tail lights, your running lights, your blinkers, and your ground. It's a fairly straightforward install. Let's show you how to get it done. First thing we need to do to begin our installation is we need to get under the hood. We're going to move these seven screws that run across the top of our fascia. We'll be using a 10 millimeter socket. We're going to remove the wheel well fasteners. Now in the instructions it tells you just to remove these seven bolts here and then one push pin fastener up here. We have to get three bolts that are up inside here and if you just remove those it's going to be a little bit difficult. What I suggest to make it easier is you just remove all these plastic uh, push pin fasteners that are in here and just drop your wheel well liner down. So we'll start here. You're going to have seven actual bolts. We'll be using a 5.5 millimeter socket. And these are going to be toward the front of the vehicle. You see this little plastic fastener right here with a Phillips screwdriver and you don't have to put any pressure on it. All you want to do is just turn it and that center will come out. Just like that. And then if you take a flathead screwdriver or trim panel tool, and you're gonna pop that center out like that. And you're gonna have 11 more of these in this wheel well to take out. One here behind the wheel on the top side. And then directly behind the wheel, you'll have two more. Next, you're going to have three screws that run right here along the bottom of your roll liner. On the bottom of the vehicle, you're going to be using an 8mm socket. Now, it tells you you don't need to take out this one. I'm going to do it anyway to make it a little bit easier on myself. Next, we're just going to kind of pull this back just a little bit. You're not going to have to pull it all the way off. Then we'll take our wheel well liner like this. And we're just going to set it down on our tire. If you just look right here, there's three bolts that we're going to have to remove. I'm using a 10 millimeter socket to do that. Now you're going to repeat this process with the wheel well on the other side of the vehicle. Underneath the vehicle, we're going to have three screws that run across the front. We're going to be using an 8mm socket to remove those. Now we're going to remove the front fascia. It's always better if you have an extra set of hands. If you don't, I suggest getting a large box or piece of cardboard and putting it underneath. What you're going to do is you're going to start on the outside and move your way to the center. You want to keep in mind, if you have lights and sensors, you're going to want to unplug those before you pull the whole thing off. As you're pulling it off, reach in and disconnect. Each side where we took the three bolts out, now in the instructions they tell you to push up and pull out. There's a tab that locks inside of the top part of this fender. I would suggest reaching up and pushing that tab in and pushing down like that. Because you could take a chance of pushing or breaking this off if you do it the way they tell you. Either way, I find it just as easy to do it that way, and then you're saving yourself some trouble. Now we'll just slowly start to move away to the center of the vehicle. Again, you set it on the box. We're going to have a plug here. What you want to do is there's two tabs here, and they fit right over top of that. You reach down with two fingers and you pull up on them and slowly start to pull it out. The plug will come out uh, 
your box here. You're going to have a rubber hose. You're going to want to pull that off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this hose on the top and this hose down here on the bottom of this T connector that's going to my washer fluid box or canister. I'm going to take a little piece of hose because both these are going to drain and I'm just going to run them together until we put it back on. So we'll remove that. Just like that. You have a large plug on your driver's side. You're gonna push in on this little tab to pull out. Once you have everything disconnected, you're gonna to wanna to set your fascia aside somewhere safe. Your kit's gonna come with wires that are gonna to run to your tail lights and your ground. I'm gonna take this and we're gonna start at the front of the vehicle. I'm gonna tape it just a little extra just to make sure we have enough up in the front to hook to our six pole once we get our fascia back in place. So now we're gonna run our wire across the back of our bumper. We're gonna run it right down this frame rail here to the back passenger side tail light. Now, it's a good idea if you are getting a braking system to run this up into the engine compartment, leave a little roll of it there before you run it to the back. In our case, this customer already has a braking system installed and we won't have to tie into this. So what I did is I ran an airline tube down. You wanna make sure you stay away from any heat or moving parts. I ran my airline tube right across the frame rail here and down to the bottom of the vehicle. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape it to my airline tube. And I'm just gonna start slowly pushing through to make sure that I've got a good clean path. I didn't miss anything. I can go down underneath, pull my airline tube, and the rest of my wire should pull through. Now I'm gonna run the rest of the wire back to my passenger tail light. Let me get that done real quick and I'll show you how I did it. So what I did is I ran down from my frame at the top. You can see it comes down right here. And make sure you stay away from moving or hot parts. I found this existing hard line set here. Ran it here. If you piece of plastic right here, if you just slightly pull down on the edge, you can take that wire and tuck it up inside and it stays inside of all this. I ran it all the way up here. You have the tank here with a four pan. I ran it across here. To the back side of it. If you look right up on top, it runs right over top of this cross beam here. Right to here. I zip tied it to this hard line here. Out it. Right to this factory wiring here on the passenger side. Now we're gonna go up behind the bumper to the tail light. Next thing we wanna do is remove our tail light. We're gonna take a very small screwdriver we're gonna pop these little caps off. And your two bolts, they're gonna be eight millimeter. Now it's a good idea if you have a plastic trim panel tool like this, there's gonna be a pin down here at the bottom and there's gonna be one about right here that faces back. We're gonna pull this light this way. Try not to wiggle it too much because you don't wanna crack the inside of the housing. That's why these are good. Just like that. Disconnect our wiring there. Go ahead and pull these bulbs out. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side of the vehicle. So now we're gonna test our lights to figure out which wires we're gonna be using. Now, as you can see, these two wires are running to our blinker. We're gonna to test to see which one is the ground and which one is the power. So we know our power wires to our blinker is gonna be purple. Next, we're gonna test our brake lights. Off the brake, on the brake. So now we know our peach is our brake light. And next, we'll test for our running lights. Turn them on. And we know our yellow is our running lights. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Next, I'm gonna take an airline tube and run it right down behind my bumper here. 
your green, your brown, your white, and your yellow wire, you wanna make sure you take those and separate them all the way down to where they go underneath the vehicle. Now the only ones we're gonna be taking up here on the passenger side are our green and our brown wire. Now, in your kit, you're gonna get an additional length of brown wire and an additional length of green wire. We're only gonna be using our brown wire, so we're gonna attach that with it. Now we have dropped an airline tube down behind our bumper here. We'll go ahead and put some electrical tape on those to hold them in place. You wanna leave the other end of the brown wire hanging down. So what we have determined through testing that this is a three wire system. We're not gonna be using the third line on this or the turn signal. We are actually going to tie our turn signal that's coming from the RV into our brake signal. The RV is only a two wire system, which means that your brake light and your turn signal are into one wire. Peach wire is our brake light signal, yellow wires are tail lights. Our brake light is gonna double as our turn signal. So now we'll take our peach wire. We're gonna cut it in half. First, we're gonna start with the wire that's coming from the vehicle itself. We're gonna strip it back like that. And give yourself a little extra length. And we're gonna take our green wire and just strip it back. Fold them over like this. To your few millions that come in your kit. Crimp one of those on each end. Make sure it's got a good hold. And we'll take our diode and plug our wires into it. You're gonna see an in and an out. Out is gonna be on your taillight side. In is gonna be coming from the factory wiring inside the vehicle. Now our brake light is gonna double as our turn signal. This thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our two brown wires. Your brown wire that's coming off your wiring that's coming from the front of the vehicle, and then your wiring in your kit, your extra bundle of wire, brown wire that you got in your kit. These two are gonna be tied together, so you wanna make sure when you cut your extra piece of wiring, you don't cut it too short. So you wanna to try to get that about exactly where we're gonna be tying it in to our yellow wire. These two together. And then one of our connectors here. Take one of our other diodes. Put that in place like that. And we're gonna take our yellow wire, which is our running lights. And we'll do the same thing here. Now we have our turn signal brake lights and running lights done on our passenger side. So now we're gonna run our brown wire and our yellow wire over to our driver's side. So we took our yellow wire that's gonna be going to our left turn signal from our wires that are running from the front, ran into our left turn signal or driver's side turn signal or brake light, which is doubling as our turn signal, and our peach wire. Our brown wire that we doubled on the passenger side used as a jumper to run to our running lights or tail lights is going into our yellow wire which is our running lights on the vehicle. So now what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna tape all of these wires together so they're not hanging loose. Make sure that our connections stay on our diodes. What I did is run over my driver's side. So I dropped my yellow, my brown, and my white wire down. And you can see right up here, there's some existing wiring. I zip tied it there, ran it across, and then up. Now you may have to add an extension onto your yellow wire if it's not long enough. Now my white wire is gonna be my ground wire. I need to ground this to the body somewhere. I don't wanna go directly into the bottom of the trunk pan because the spare tire is in here. So if you look right up here, I'm gonna ground it right there. So now we'll do the same thing. We'll cut off our extra, strip the end. We'll add a ring terminal. Take my ring terminal and a self-tapping screw. Go right up along this edge. And 
you just want that tight enough where your ring terminal is not going to move. Now we'll reattach our fascia. Keep in mind you need to connect your wiring on your driver's side here and then your two hoses on your reservoir for your windshield wiper fluid. Once we have got our fascia on in the center, we're gonna start from the center and move our way to the outside. You remember the three bolts that went in here. Now your bumper fascia will fit tight. It will be snug with the base plate hitch installed. Next, we'll get our wheel well put back in place. We're gonna start with this trim piece first. You can see there's a lip right here. It's gotta go inside of this. So we'll just lift up on it, pull it down inside like that, push it back into place. I'm gonna get one of my push pins in place to hold it. And we unscrewed them at first. This time all we have to do is put, put it in place and push the pin in. One thing to keep in mind is that on the back side of this wheel well. This wheel well insert has to go in between this piece and the metal that's sitting behind it, the body. Next, we're gonna mount our six bolt plug. We're gonna need to do a little bit of trimming. Just cut this piece out here. Now you can see the wires that are going right up behind the grill here. I'm gonna take some wire loom just to kind of clean it up and kind of hide the color of the wires. We're gonna split all of our wires apart. Next, we're gonna have a little boot on the back of our plug. Gonna make sure you put that on first. Your six pole is going to be marked on the back so you know which wires go where. Next, you want to strip the end of your wires. And if, for some reason, you can't remember, the wires are actually marked right turn, left turn, tail lights, ground. You can use a flathead or a Phillips screwdriver. Next, we'll take some dielectric grease. And you want to make sure you coat all of your connections here and help keep them from corroding. I'm going to take our boot and slide it over the top like this. Take some electrical tape. Like this. It's going to help our boot stay on. Take some tape, like this, to help seal the end. Next, we'll take our two self-tapping screws that come in our kit. Now, these will fit on here, and you can put them in just like that if you like. I'm actually gonna put a washer on them, just so I don't take a chance of pulling the head through that hole. I really don't want to crack that plastic housing. Next, we'll test out our lights using an alternate power source. First, our right turn, left turn, tail lights, and our brake lights. And that'll do it for a look at an installation on the Blue Box Tow Bar wiring kit, four diodes, part number BX8848 on our 2017. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.